Hi guys, I'm Chris and this is a video I've been looking to share with you. I had ongoing Achilles problems for two years on and off. Was able to train for two, three months, then out of six weeks, and that went on about three or four times. I've been a year now without any issues. And so how have I done that? Well, I wanna share this with you. I went to um, physios, they give me the exercises, the kind of heel raises, and I'm sure they work, but for me, they didn't work. Mine was just down to one thing, and that was trainer choice. So when I first, if I roll back the time, when I started running when I was 42, after a 25 year break, obviously chain, trainers have come along a, a long way since then. So I went to, like most of us, to a sports shop, driven by price, color, end up buying some caramels, and they were awful, picking up you know, little niggles here and there. So I thought I'd bite the bullet, went to a sports shop and got my gait measured. They reckon, recognized that obviously them trainers weren't right for me. I'm a neutral runner and they recommended New Balance. So my first trainer that I actually got was the 1080 V7. At the time wearing these compared to the Carrymores, these were fantastic, you know, very comfortable. Um, but we're still pick, picking up a couple of niggles here and there um, and they're quite a weighty shoe so obviously looked into the um, the different models available and then come across the Zanti which was a fantastic shoe um, I said it's quick light you know you could feel the road in it and a bit of cushioning but we're still picking up niggles um, so then I thought I'd look into the Beacon the Beacon a um, lot more cushioning um, actually helped my Achilles more, but was still picking up, you know, the odd, the odd problem here and there. Um, but you know, once you once you like a brand, you tend to carry on buying them. So then, obviously, bought the Fuel Cell Impulse. Still picking up needles. So I happened to be watching a video um, of Ben Parks, and he was talking about the uh, Pegasus Turbo Two and how comfortable they were, the cushioning. So I happened to be in America, and it was a year ago. Uh, it was my birthday and these were on sale. These are the Pegasus um, Turbo 35s. Um, tried them in the shop and wow, I couldn't believe how comfortable they were. You know, cushion in here where the New Balance didn't. You know, just so comfortable, perfect fit. I wore them a few, on a few runs in America. Achilles felt great. Um, and so, so like um, with my New Balance, obviously I looked into different models that I could buy. So the next model I bought was the Zoom Fly One. Um, the Zoom Fly One, I say this was a perfect fit for this one, uh, both size 11, and very, very comfortable. Obviously, this has got the um, nylon um, plate in there, um, which was kind of step up from you know this one. This is probably the best all-round shoe that I own, but this one could do anything from easy runs to very quick runs. And then I purchased another one in this colorway. Obviously purchased another one in this colorway because I am of, of the opinion if you like a shoe and, and buy a few of them because unfortunately, you know, they bring out models so quick and they do change them. Because so sometimes, you know, the first model is always the best model. And then by the time you go and buy again, they're on the third model and the price difference. Um, these were $75 picked up in America, um, picked up the same in a blue for about 75 on the night website. And then um, these shoes I picked up off eBay. So these were, uh, I think 45 I got these for, and then picked them on another colorway. Uh, I think these were 50. Um, still, a, I say no difference between these because they're the same shoe. Um, and then picked up the SPs in two different colorways. Uh, the difference with the SPs is a lighter, um, no, no support here. Um, these are good racing shoe, track shoe and probably good for 10, 15 seconds a mile. Um, and you're probably saying to me, well, why do these happen your Achilles? Well, New Balance are typically um, six mil drop, where Nike tend to be a 10 mil drop. And I think the increased cushioning on, on Nikes as well help my Achilles. So you're probably thinking, to, you could be saying to yourself, well, it can't be that, can't be that simple. You know, maybe you've increased the mileage, maybe you increased, you know, you're doing the stretching and, and you were doing the, the hill raises and that's improved your, your strength. But I actually, in December, uh, after, you know, a good five months of injury free, 
I wore these again thinking to myself, you know, my Achilles is fine, not a problem. So I did a 5K, fast 5K, and then and the next day my Achilles was injured again. And I was probably out for about four weeks. So um, for me, I'm going to stick with Nike. I said they work for me. Um, you know, I'm not going to say it will 100% work for you, but I think sometimes that the having a, obviously the higher or, or, or you know, a 10 mil drop compared to the 6 mil drop, the Achilles is obviously not stretched as much. And the increased um, cushioning Nikes um, obviously protect your foot more, and obviously, uh, as older runners, um, need as much protection as we can. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps you as well. And if you have got any comments, I'll try and get back to you. Um, but I just hope this video, you know, helps someone as, as, as it's helped me because what was happening was it was just holding you back. So, you know, I'd get, as I say, get four months training and then be up six weeks. And it was just a pattern that happened probably about four times. So, um, now I've been injury free, touch wood, which I don't know if there's any wood. So, oh, there we go. Um, so, you know, training's been going well. I progressed, um, you know, because of that. Because once you get an injury, you know, you start to start again, start afresh. So, but I hope you enjoyed this. As for always, um, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. <laughs>